Hi children, this is Anusha, your science teacher. Here are you to teach class 7 science. So this is our textbook. Our textbook and we have total 17 lessons in this. And we are going to deal with first lesson today. What is our first lesson? Our first lesson is all about food components, isn't it? Food is very, very important in our daily life. Isn't it? Without food, we can't live. And in class 6 also, you have learned about our food. What are the types of, how we will cook the food and what are the ingredients mean and what uh, what do you like it, whether if you eat only liked food, it's enough or not. We have learned about all those things, isn't it? Yes. In this lesson, more knowledge you are going to get. So let's go into our lesson and see what are there in our lesson first. In our lesson, first, we are going to learn about components, that is food components, test for the proteins, carbohydrates and fats, and roughages or dietary fibers and sources from where you are going to get these roughages and water and balanced diet. Nowadays, all are speaking about this balanced diet and all are very particular and about these vitamins, minerals and carbohydrates and what all these mean. We have to know about them because all these together will make our body healthy and in our healthy in a healthy body we will have a healthy mind. So actually the components are nothing are are nothing but the nutrients nutrients the main components are nutrients in components nutrients you are supposed to learn about c p v f f m what is that c p v f f one let us see first one is carbohydrates first one is Carbohydrates. Why we need carbohydrates in compounds? We the main uh, main thing uh, the main thing is nutrients. In nutrients, first one is carbohydrates. Why we need carbohydrates to our body, and how we have we have to take the carbohydrates? Who need carbohydrates? How to test them? We are going to learn. And let's give me a example carbohydrates carbohydrates what they'll do why we need they give energy they are energy giving to us without taking carbohydrates we have no energy as you have to work as you have to do the homework as you have to play as you have to do all the things isn't it so to do all these things we need energy so what will give energy to us? Carbohydrates will give you energy to us. And in this carbohydrates, what will give carbohydrates to us? Rice and breakfast. Whatever we take breakfast, it will give carbohydrates. And some will skip the breakfast. Instead of having breakfast, healthy breakfast, they'll have some uh, uh, something like a liquid, like milk yes milk is very good to health i'm not saying no but as you are growing children you're supposed to eat all the types of breakfast which will give carbohydrates and the carbohydrates are going to give energy to you so you are going to eat this carbohydrates isn't it with the breakfast and rice you are definitely going to get this carbohydrates next proteins what does proteins do carbohydrates energy giving it's enough no no, these proteins will give you bodybuilding. You need to build your body. You are not, when you are infant, you are very small. When you are infant, you are very small. But when you grow up, you are growing up now, isn't it? You are not like you are, when you are in, uh, in fourth and fifth class, you might be short and all. Isn't it? Now you have grown up. Which, new to, which component in the food makes us bodybuilding means it's proteins in proteins what you will in what you will have proteins in pulses grains you are going to have protein so next uh, proteins in water so next uh, second one is proteins in what you are going to have these proteins proteins are bodybuildings for the bodybuildings you need these proteins the proteins will give you a good 
body building with your bones and all isn't it so so the pulses in which you have this proteins in pulses and grains you will have these proteins and next comes with vitamins where you will find why these vitamins are needed to you carbohydrates give energy proteins give body building these vitamins will protect protective food what types of vitamins we have we have vitamin a b c d isn't it vitamin a is useful in eyesight vitamin b that's all the b12 in your help in your digestive system in for your protect your digestive system your heart everything and vitamin c you know and nowadays even the doctors and uh, all are asking us to take more and more vitamin c what vitamin c do to us vitamin c will what blood function what it will do blood purification it does what blood purification where you will find this vitamin c all the citrus fruits which are so to taste like your lemon orange and all okay and next one is vitamin d vitamin d what it will do it will build the Bo- bone building for the bone building you need so where you are going to get this you are going to get from easy way no cost you are going to get from sunlight okay okay so the end next is fats why this fats are needed and some doctors say not to take fats and some some doctors suggest you need to take fats fats are also equally important in our food component they are very uh, play vital role in our food component and in our daily diet also fats what they do they give instant energy to us fats what they give they give instant energy to us immediate energy see if you are feeling very dull that day and you are food what you have taken is not enough immediately if you take a fat if you like a um, which contains fat more it will give from where you will get sweet or milk isn't it when you fall down also what they do they immediately give you uh, chocolate which gives you uh, even the sweet which gives you immediate energy so when you feel that you are uh, you are very dull and you have no you can't do anything more you can eat take this fats and next fiber fiber what this fiber will help this will help in constipation well and good this is all we need but if we take all these things it should get digested in our body isn't it without getting digested we can eat a morning if it does not get digested we can eat afternoon's one of course no obviously no isn't it so you are supposed to have this fiber where you are going to get this fibers from bridge guard drumsticks and all these uh, what you say you will get like fiber like things isn't it from uh, um lady's finger and all fiber like thing you are going to get which will give you fiber to your body and which will help in constipation what do you mean by constipation not to get digested and uh, not to bowel movement will be not proper and next minerals next comes minerals why this minerals need functioning of our body our minerals need so these all are the important food components and about these we are going to learn in this lesson okay and see when you sleep also when you sleep also you tell me when you sleep you need all these things the you need energy yes definitely because when you sleep also your uh, digestive system your heart everything will be functioning isn't it without the energy how can they do so we all need energy when you are sleeping also while you are sleeping also and eh? here is a triangle for you which shows you in which you have carbohydrates proteins minerals vitamins and minerals proteins and fats in carbohydrates where you will find they play a major role in our diet so bread rice potato apples pumpkin sweet potatoes all will have more carbohydrates we have already discussed carbohydrates are energy giving so they give energy to us so you need to take these carbohydrates 
for sure in your diet you need to include in your diet surely and next one is vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals where you will find these vitamins and minerals in vitamins and minerals are found in carrots sweet potatoes vitamins nuts you have all your nuts isn't it like a Uh, ground nuts and all they are also very very important they give uh, good vitamins to you and seeds iron meat poultry and fish poultry is nothing but your chicken and all isn't it so they all are also equally important with this you need to include include this also and this proteins red fish and in this poultry also you will have this uh, proteins beverages all contain proteins more so everything we can take even the fat oils also you can take everything we can take but what you need to take an adequate where you need to take more and water water is a place very very important role without having all these things and not having water is useless water is very very important in our body and to our body functioning they are very very important so you all will have different different uh, dishes what you like more isn't it but oh, but daily eating see if you like only the lemon rice if you get daily lemon rice is that enough to you those you get all this proteins minerals or uh, everything what you need it to your body they'll give all that energy giving they are like that is that enough no it's not at all enough you need to daily if, if okay one or two it may be a very a very fa- what favorite to you and uh, you would like to eat daily but daily eating pani puri is that in is that good daily eating burger is that good daily eating pizza is that good no they don't include okay once or twice in a month it's okay but eating daily will definitely affect your health and see uh this is our lesson i'll read out this lesson once in previous class we have learnt that we eat many kinds of food like biryani puri hora idli chapati dals etc and you also learnt how to cook some of them isn't it some payasam we have learned you have learned about pachi pulusu and you have made tomato curry in your uh, thing and all isn't it but see you also learned how to cook some food items uh, tasty and pleasurable by adding oil sugandha dravyalu do you remember sugandha dravyalu sugandha dravyalu are those which will add what to your food what to your food sugandha dravyalu they will add what sugandha dravyalu what what sugandha dravyalu will do sugandha dravyalu will add uh, will add very very taste to our dravyalu isn't it yeah sugandha dravyalu they add smell to our food like uh, dalchini irachi bay leaf these all will have taste to our you have learned about it isn't it and next here is a picture showing this uh, boy is imagining all these things like fruits burger salads and what is this uh, like puri and all mutton ice cream this is what stro- uh, ta- uh, vegetables and your cookies he is imagining all these things here is a picture showing it and next everyone has their own favorite food you need to write s r no in the answer yes isn't it what is your favorite food or dish why do you like it whatever it may be like your biryani or chicken or uh, mutton or your uh, aloo fry or uh, something why you like it also you are supposed to write it and next in only favorite food sufficient for you what as we have already discussed only so if you are suppose if you are going to eat daily i like only aloo fry i eat daily aloo fry in all we have only carbohydrates and rice with rice you will take not only aloo curry you are going to take fry rice rice both are carbohydrates is that enough to your to your bo- to your uh, body no it's not enough like that and next question is think why do you eat it think why do you eat it why next let us do one 
we eat different types of food items make a group of six to if you are six to five students you can make a group and you can do all these things and he also asks here one question do we need energy when you sleep yes we need energy when you sleep also to functioning of body isn't it we don't move but in our all the functions will take place isn't it like our uh, heartbeat our kidneys will function everything will function isn't it to that you need energy suppose you do not get here are some questions given to you suppose you don't get food for lunch how do you feel you feel very dull and you feel that you have lost all your energy and you can't do any work more isn't you feel hungry if you don't get anything for more than a day how you will feel more than a day okay you can live but not active as uh, what the, uh, if you take food you will be more active if you don't take food okay and next if you don't get for many days what happens if you don't get food for many days you can't live and you need to you need uh, glucose carbohydrates the sweet starch and all to your body to work properly so these is your introduction part thank you